everybody, Elisa here with another Vera Bradley bag of the day. Today, um, for people who might not know, is um, National Zipper Day. I'm not making it up, you can Google it. <laughs> and so in honor of National Zipper Day, I uh, thought I would talk about the Vera item that I have with the longest zipper on it. <laughs> And I did use it as not my bag of the day. My This is my bag of the day, which is the reversible tote, and I, I can get to that. I mean, I've talked about that before. If you've seen any of my other, a couple of my other videos, I rave about that bag. Um, it's my favorite style bag. But um, I did use this because I went to the grocery store. And uh, it's sort of an unusual, right, less typical Vera item, so I thought maybe people might be interested to see it. It's the uh, trunk organizer, foldable, yes, foldable trunk organizer <laughs> in uh, Penguin Intarsia. And um, I, I don't see the penguins in this pattern, it's very abstract, but... What are you going to do? I didn't pick it for the pattern. I'm not crazy about the pattern uh, or the colors, the sort of rust brown. But it is sort of like almost looks a little bit Native American if you know if you like those kinds of patterns. Uh, maybe a little Southwest or something. But I didn't buy it for that. I bought it for what it is, the, you know, the item that it is because I was so tired of you know going to the grocery store and then putting stuff in the open in the back of my car and it's just everything's you know falling all over the place when you drive so um, I, I found this in one of the online outlet sales um, not this last one it was a few sales ago and so I'm not sure if if this item is still available but if people are interested I mean they might just want to poke around on the online outlet sales I don't know if you could even find it online. I mean, I, I don't know. But um, I just thought it was something a little less typical. And since it has a long zipper, I thought that would kind of be fun <laughs> just to, to tie it into the National Zipper Day. So um, this I got this retailed for 48 But in the sale, I got it for something like, I don't know, maybe 14 I couldn't, it wasn't more than 14, I'm pretty sure. And it came with a, a bunch of pieces. It came with two. This is a big, you can see, I have it, the top zip, zips, zips closed. I'll, I'll open it in a minute. But this is a big, you know, rectangular, like, you know, duffel, sort of, you know, like coated paper, like that sort of plasticky paper that recyclable totes are made from. And it has this sort of cloth or woven nylon straps that with one of these um, I don't know what you would call this this velcro thing to keep them you could attach this, the straps together if you wanted to I never do that because I'm just using it to get from my car to the house um, so I don't really need to carry it for very long but if I, if I had to I guess I could I mean I can put it like that I usually just sort of like that. But anyway, the set, the set came with two large pieces like this, which I'll give the dimensions for in a minute. I think I wrote them down somewhere. And then it came, so let me see what I got here. So here's the second one of those, fo uh, yes fold it up and I'll, I'll show how it folds up because that's kind of a neat thing about it. it folds just collapses in on itself really nicely and then it came with these three smaller totes so there are two more here oh no four hey <laughs> I didn't even realize I have another one of those wow okay so four <laughs> Okay, with four of these um, of these smaller totes, which I think three of them can nest really nicely in this larger one. I tend not to do that. I haven't been doing that. I haven't bothered. I just get my grocery bags. I know plastic, and I throw them in there. But 
you know, maybe as we move away from plastic in the supermarkets, I'll start using these as the actual shopping bags. Um, it's a process. <laughs> so, um, oh, the dimensions. Where did I? Yes. So this big one is 12 this way, 12 by 12, and then the long length is 26. And the smaller one is eight and a half this way, and then 12 again in both the other dimensions. So top to bottom and side to side is 12. And these have those cloth, the same kind of cloth handles, just a little narrower. Um, so I can get a, a, a good amount of grocery bags in here. I don't have it even filled to capacity right now. So the top unzips has these two, you know, these two flaps on top. Unzip. And also I should mention these handles on the side. That's kind of handy. They're on both sides. So you can see you know, these flaps just sort of tuck in. And usually that's how I have it. I don't even bother usually zippering it. It's just that I thought, you know, because of the whole National Zipper Day thing. <laughs> Let me make use of the zipper. So you can see, you know, you can just put your stuff in there. And I've got five bags in here right now. And um, I, I usually have about six filling up the bottom. And then I, I stack stuff on top. Other more, you know, fragile stuff on top. Like if I have grapes or eggs or whatever, they're usually on top. So I've got even more than six bags in there. I just take stuff out real quick. So that you can see how nicely it collapses. And then I can get to my reversible coat. Okay. So it's empty now, you can get an idea of it inside. So you can see it's pretty, I mean, I hate to use the word flimsy because that sort of has a negative connotation because it, it works perfectly for what I needed. And I, I do take a couple, I did take a couple of um, photographs and I will put them up on my Instagram of this in the trunk, in the car so people can get a sense of, you know, how it, how it sits in there. And, um, my Instagram, I think is in the, I'll make sure it's in the YouTube uh, video description or whatever. So I just pick it up here by the ends, and then it just collapses onto itself. I mean, it's really just a great thing. So even though, you know, I mean, that the fact that it's lightweight, I mean, enables it to do that fairly easily. So I don't, because I don't, I didn't want something that I was always going to be keeping open in the back of my car. And so then I just slide all this, all of these, you know, folded for storage, the other big one, into one of these smaller totes. And I've just been keeping this in the back of my car. So when it's there when I need to use it. I use it for other things like, you know, bringing things to my dad's or whatever. So that that I just thought that was kind of a neat thing is the foldable trunk organizer. And like I said, I don't know if it's still easy, you know, available in the online outlet sales. But if people are interested, you know, it can't hurt to look for it. This was the only pattern it came in, unfortunately. But like I said, I didn't didn't buy it for the pattern. I just wanted something lightweight. Just what this was, it would fold up easily, and I could keep it, you know, keep it back in my car. So I, I just bought it for the functionality, and I, you know, not the the way it looked. Unfortunately, it's hard. It's hard with VR, right? Not not to focus on the pattern, but anyway. <laughs> so this is my bag of the day. I might as well just stay here in the kitchen. Um, and people have seen this before in my other, you know, in my other videos where I talked about this and compared it to the. Um, Symphony and Hue version of it. This is the Blue Rhapsody, a reversible tote, and um, I had it in the video with my Symphony and Hue one because the patterns are the same, just different color scheme. But you can get a lot in here. I don't, for people who didn't maybe didn't see those other videos. So uh, again, no light. 
<laughs> I have all my usual stuff in here, you know, GPS pouch and iPad mini and random paper, little wallet, iPod, but the best thing is that, oh, phone. <laughs> You can get an idea just of the shape of the bag and how it looks on. It's, it's such a nice bag. Comfortable. Has these east. Oh, I love the big hoop. Oh, I love the big hoop oh, uh, on any bag. I just like that sort of boho kind of look, bohemian look. Um, and it has a, the east west pockets. They're a little small. Um, I can't get my hands in, and they do go down to the bottom, but they're a little small. I like the wide strap. I, I feel like I measured it in a previous video. It might have been about one and a half inches. Um, and the closure is a covered magnetic closure, and it's not those typical round magnets. I've talked about that in my first video about this. It's two pieces of square magnet on each side, uh, and it closes up. They find each other very nicely, and it, it really makes it, you know, it gives you enough security, I feel like, because it's be hard to, for someone to really get in there and stick their hand all the way in when, you know, and you not know about it. It's a soft bottom, doesn't have a hard base, and it's machine washable, and I've washed all, I have three of them now, actually, I have another one on the way, so, <laughs> so I will have four, um, and, uh, I've washed them, I've washed all the three that I have right now, I've washed them all, and they've gone through fine. Inside, because it is reversible, which I, I have not used it reversed, but because it's reversible, there are the interior east-west pockets, which become the exterior east-west pockets. And in my other video, I turned this inside out so people could see, you know, the, um, that's better light, maybe a little bit, see the pattern. I think it's better, my, you can see it more in my other video. It's not worth it for me to do it all again. I did just notice this, the tag in here. It does say machine wash, you know, cold, your typical instructions. So officially it's machine washable. So but like I was saying, the best thing about this is that it has other Vera in it because I had a coupon. <laughs> and God forbid I shouldn't spend it, you know, I shouldn't use a coupon. <laughs> so I had a coupon at Hallmark, 30% off, and I really don't have a lot of money to spend because if I had, I probably would have come out with a Carson shoulder bag in Lavender Meadow because that thing is gorgeous. And they had one there that had really good ladybugs on it. But I did find this, and I don't have this item, and I thought, you know, it's harder to use a bag. I have so many bags, and um, you know what that's like. <laughs> so it might almost be easier to get smaller items and, and make use of those items. And I didn't have an, this particular thing, which is the Iconic Coin Purse. And so I got 30. It's it was 30% off, so that's good. Um, and I just wanted to get up close, see if I get better light. I don't think I'm going to get any good light here. Let me move the computer a little bit. Maybe get better light here. Yeah. But I liked it because it has the ladybug here. That's a little bit better light. Plus this nice, this looks like, to me, I think I think this is like a dahlia, this, uh, this flower here. And it's got the ladybug with some of those great leaves with a green that really has a, a blue cast to it. This is very nice green. And then on the other side, I got the, another ladybug. Ooh, good, good position. With the, the more hydrangea looking flowers. That, to me, that's what those look like, the hydrangeas. Um, so I just thought that was, you know, kind of a, where's the best light? That's good light. <laughs> Better light. I don't know, it just, it was hard to pass up the, um, ladybugs at the coupon so it made me very happy oh and I, I didn't I've never had this version of a coin purse I have you know an older coin style coin purse um, when I opened it up of course it has that pattern inside with the ladybugs and you can see the different you see there are diff different styles of the ladybugs there one has some leaves and one is on its own I think there's one that has its wings open. Yes, right there. That one has its wings open with some flowers. But what I was, I just thought this would be, you know, an empty kind of space in there with nothing else. But it has a, a slip pocket 
in there, as you, you can see, and it also on this end, hold on, put my finger in it, has a loop. See that loop there? It has an elastic, an elastic loop, which I guess, I mean, I feel like maybe I could stick a lip balm or chapstick or something in there. I don't know, I'm guessing that's what that's for. I, if, if it's for something else, someone should tell me in the comments, please. <laughs> but um, that's what I'll be using it for until I until someone tells me, oh, I'm supposed to be using it for something else. <laughs> um, but I just thought that was a nice thing that they didn't just, you know, they made, made an effort to give you a little something in there, not just have it be this open pouch. So maybe you could slip an ID or something in there, use it as a tiny wallet, which I've done with my other coin purses. So that's, you know, what I thought. Of. Well, I'll get this. And it has, you know, it's multi-use. You know, you can figure out, you know, come up with a bunch of different uses for it. I like the fact that it has some width to it. Oh, and might as well measure it like I measure everything. Why the hell not? <laughs> it's about four and a half, four and a half across this way. And you wouldn't think it doesn't look that big. I mean, I, I don't know. I wouldn't have thought it would even be that big. And three and a half top to bottom. And an inch wide, which of course, I mean, you could, you could probably get it even wider. I'm sure it has give to it, you know. And I don't know if anyone has Hallmark near them, but they're giving out coupons now for June. Get a June 20% off coupon. So they really get you. <laughs> anyway, those are my bags of the day. Just a quick one today was my real bag of the day was reversible tote in Blue Rhapsody, which is sort of fast becoming, I think, my favorite my favorite bag that I of the bags that I have. Um, but this was this was the real really what I had wanted to talk about the foldable trunk organizer with the long zipper. <laughs> um, I just love it. I mean, I, I it serves its purpose purpose for me perfectly. Uh, for fourteen bucks, I mean, for this many pieces, you know, is that six pieces um, for fourteen dollars? It was just it was just a good deal. I thought. Anyway, thanks for watching, and hopefully, I'll see you next time.